Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this video, I will be explaining on how to add clothes onto your VR chat avatar via Blender. Um, so first off, all I'm going to say is right now, at least, I will say that my version of Blender is 3.4.1. It doesn't really matter um, what version you use, or at least not to my knowledge. Um, but that is what I will be using. Um, in this video, I will be using a limited avatar made by Food Baby named Mochi. And let's get on with the video. First thing that you are going to do is you are going to go to the Unity project of which you have your avi. You are going to go to where it says the avatar's name or maybe it says FBX near it. And you're going to click on it and usually sometimes there will be a folder that says FBX or maybe it'll look like this and you just want to click on them until you see FBX at the end of the little file. Next thing you want to do is you want to right click, show and explore, and then after that you want to get the right one, not the little page with lines, but the FBX file, not the meta file. You want to right click copy and then you want to go to your desktop and you want to paste that onto your desktop after you've done that you want to go into your blender and you want to go to file import fbx you want to go to where your fbx file for your avatar is on your desktop or wherever you may have put it and you want to let it import and it might take a bit but it will get in blender um of course it will not come with all materials on it like this only reason why i have it with all the materials is because i do renders and they have to have materials on them but on to the next step next thing you want to do is you want to also when you get the clothing piece that you want or if you purchase it or you just find a free one um, you want to put it in your project the same way that you did your avatar's FBX and it'll also say FBX for the piece of clothing and what you will do in Blender is you will usually align it with how your avatar is posed um, obviously here she's not aligned um, what I usually do to align it is I look at it head on and I see if the clothing or the mesh is resting on the shoulders. And then I'll look at it from the X coordinate side. This little thing will help you. And sometimes you can even look at it from the side and if it's maybe like uneven like this, you can do what I do. You can press G. And you can move it around to your liking, but it was already to my liking, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, actually, it needs a little more adjustment, so. Um, and then, after that, maybe it is not all the way sculpted to how your avatar's body is this is very common it's a very common issue um next thing is the sculpting step what you want to do is you are going to fit it to your body you are going to click the mesh of your clothing you're going to go to object where it says object mode the little drop down you're going to go to sculpt mode and usually what i do is i i sometimes use draw i don't use it a lot as I like used to um, but I also normally use grab and elastic deform for if maybe I want to move it a certain way or maybe if I want to just adjust it a little bit sculpting is for certain parts or not sculpting but draw is a little more for like if the chest area of a female avatar maybe is too small to fit to the avatar so that is normally why I use it other than that I don't use it that much as I would like to if you are moving a certain part of the mesh to the body 
you want to put your radius up however you see fit maybe this is the size of your brush that is what radius is strength is obviously well how powerful it is and how powerful it drags it or maybe sculpts it um, I am going to sculpt this to my base so I will time-lapse this Okay, after you have done that, obviously it's not perfectly fitted onto the avatar, but I am only doing this for a tutorial. Um, also, should I mention that this bodysuit or fishnet is made by Nelki, and I will also link this piece of clothing that I am fitting onto the avatar in my description. Next part is actually the fun part. So, usually what I use to kind of like test out like my clothing and stuff is cats um if you do not have cats i will put it in the description um and then you can look up a video maybe showing how to add cats into your blender it's really not that hard it should be as easy as putting the fbx in blender um but next thing you're going to do is you are gonna go to click your mesh of your avatar's clothing the one that you just sculpted to your base and then you're going to shift click the armature obviously my armature looks like this because I kind of messed with that a little bit but ignore that um, next you are going to do is control P control P with empty groups and then usually it should just stick on it should be on it but in this case it's not it's not so in this case what I do is way painting the next step is way painting or maybe doing the vertex data method um, I think I will show show the vertex data method um, but I'll show you how I do this so what you are going to do first is you are going to click your body mesh of your avatar not the armature but the mesh and shift click the clothing you are going to go up to object mode weight paint weights you're gonna go all the way down to transfer weights and you are going to go to where it says transfer transfer mesh data you are going to change vertex mapping to nearest face interpolated and you are going to change this ray radius to 5. Source layer select to by name. And you should be all set from there. Um, and as you can see, um, if you go into cats or maybe if you start posing it, um, it is stuck on. Um, you do not have to do the weight painting part if it already sticks on. Um, the manual way to test it out, you want to go to click on your armature on your avatar. You want to go into pose mode instead of object mode. And you want to start to kind of pose the bones with the rotate tool. And do however, like, very little silly posing you want. Um... Normally, in weight painting, your worst enemy is the armpit, or maybe the waist sometimes, sometimes even chest area for females. Um, I should know. Um, and that finalizes most of that. I will now be showing the vertex data option. So now is the vertex data option. You want to click on your clothing mesh. You are going to go to the wrench. You are going to add a modifier, transfer data, or data transfer. Drag it by this little bar up so you can see better. You want to grab the source little eyedrop right here, and you want to hover over your body mesh. And then you are going to drop down vertex data, check it. Vertex groups, mapping, nearest edge interpolated. And you are going to generate data layers 
and apply. And usually it'll work. Maybe in this case it will break it, or maybe not. Um, <laughs> but now way painting will be done sometimes. Um, ignore the horns in the chain. I haven't really added that onto this avatar yet. But there you go, and that finalizes the tutorial.